and welcome to ASP's video training series. Today we're going to be walking through steps on how to install an SPS roof on a mobile home. Some important safety tips to keep in mind when working on a mobile home roof. First, you want to distribute the weight across the trusses using a 4x4 sheet of half inch OSB. This will prevent you from stepping directly onto the mobile home roof, which could cause a leaky low spot or even break a truss. A lot of the work on SPS projects are done off of ladders. It's important to take care when setting up your ladders and make sure that people are spotting you when you're on a ladder. SPS is a self-adhering roofing system that we use on mobile homes and our low-sloping addition roofs. SPS is a great product because it can be used on new decking as well as mobile home roofs. Some mobile home roofs will need more prep than others. For mobile home roofs, the first step is to prep the roof. The roof must be cleaned and the best practice is to prime with an oil-based primer. This creates a clean surface for the SPS to stick to. SPS can be installed in a two-piece or a one-piece system. For this particular roof, we're going to be using a one-piece system. If you want more information on how to do the two-piece system, check out our construction manual. To begin installing SPS, we must first find the measurement from the wall over the ridge to the next wall. We take this measurement and add three inches to each side because we want our SPS to hang down on each wall on each long side of the mobile home. Position the first piece with the sticky tab facing towards the rest of the roof. Allow six to eight inches to overhang the short side of the mobile home and make sure they overhang evenly on each long side. Once positioned, hold the piece in place and fold back the strip of the SPS lengthwise onto itself, exposing the backing, protecting the sticky stuff. Remove the plastic backing and let it fold back down, working from the ridge to the eave, making sure no air bubbles develop. After this half of the SPS has been stuck to the roof, you can then fold back the other half of the SPS, remove the plastic backing, and then fold it back down to the roof. Using a roller, apply pressure to the entire piece to help it adhere to the roof. Bring the next piece of SPS up onto the roof and put it into position. The piece should cover the exposed sticky tab on the previous piece, but do not remove that plastic backing from this tab just yet. Repeat the process of folding the piece back, removing the backing, and sticking the SPS to the roof. Before folding back onto the overlap tab of the first piece, remove the plastic protecting this tab. Continue this process, being sure to keep your weight distributed. There should only be a max of two people per side, with the rest of the work being done from ladders. Make sure to properly roll all of the roof, especially at the seams. Special care is needed for all penetrations in the mobile home roof. For plumbing vent pipes, we have two methods. A hole can be cut into the SPS and placed down over the penetration. Then a pipe boot is installed with generous tar around the pipe and over the SPS. Another method is to cut a relief cut to the closest long edge. The piece can then be worked around the vent pipe. After this piece is installed, apply a generous bead of roof tar around the vent and along the relief cut. After this, cut a square of SPS that extends 12 inches on either side of the vent. Cut a hole in the middle of that piece and a relief cut to one edge. Remove the backing and apply a generous bead of roof tar around the perimeter of the patch. Place this patch with the relief cut on the downhill side of the slope. Roll the patch to help it adhere to the roof and apply roof tar around the pipe, the leading edge of the patch, and down the relief cut seam. Once all pieces of SPS have been installed on the roof, the edges of the SPS must be held down with termination bar. The termination bar should be two to three inches down from the edge of the roof. Best practice is to put a bead of tar on the back side of the termination bar before installing. Install using neoprene screws. These screws should terminate into the overhang that was built or into the top plate of the wall. The SPS can be trimmed afterwards, creating a nice clean look. The termination bar can be cut using a metal hacksaw if you're working on a mobile home with a rounded roof, they can be cut in shorter sections to match the profile of the roof. SBS is a great product and is a great match for several of our roofing needs. Be sure to take time with your SBS projects. It is best to try to work in the morning before the hottest part of the day. The hotter it gets, the stickier the SBS gets. Make sure to drink plenty of water while you're on the roof and to spread out that weight. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it's been a lot of help. We wish you the best of luck on your roofing project. If you need more information, please check out our construction manual at ASPHome.org.